I grew up in a home that provided foster care for many children over the years of my childhood. It was them and our work with different case managers that led me to always want to get into social work, be a social worker. So I went back to TWU and had two long years of school and graduated in May with a social work degree. And so we spent some time praying and praying that God would be obvious in the doors that I needed to step through. Um, he opened a pretty big one, pretty obvious one for me at Juliet Fowler Communities. I took the leap of faith. I stepped through because it was so obviously um, an open door and sent by God. Juliet Fowler Communities has been around in East Dallas for almost 125 years now. Um, they serve a full um, continuum of care. We're an intergenerational community. Our president had heard about the need, heard, heard a speaker talk about the need in the Dallas area for youth aging out of foster care. So when they turn 18, they are um, released from foster care, released from the state being their parents, and sent to the street if they don't have anywhere else to go, which many of them don't. The Ebby House is a home in East Dallas that is set up to sleep up to 16 young women um, ages 18 to 24 as they've aged out of foster care. Um, we are there to offer support in life. We're there to do life with these young women, help them in their next step to education, learn the life skills that it takes to be independent. All those things that we need to know to live independently is what we're going to work on in their 12 to 24 month stay at the Ebby House. Several of the girls who've participated in our program have all been homeless at some point. They come from different walks of life, different backgrounds, different stories, but they've all come from CPS. They aged out at age 18. Foster care was really hard for me because uh, I had to depend on people that I didn't know. And I was forced to depend on those people. And it's scary being 18 years old and alone in Dallas. I was homeless for two months. They come in and there is an innate desire to be accepted by a biological mom, biological dad, no matter how broken um, they are. You're becoming a young lady and that's the most, I think, when you need your mother and you don't have that. The girls have shared that what makes the Ebby House different is the unconditional love. The idea that we're gonna be there no matter what. What I found in the Abbey House with Lisa and Kristen is that they came with open arms, you know. There were people there for you that wanted to care for you and wanted to help you. I definitely feel more security than I have before. Some of the things that they've mentioned that they now are appreciative of the Abbey House are they've mentioned that we have unconditional love, that we do not judge them. They now have support from the house manager and myself. Now they don't have to worry about a roof over their head. They don't have to worry about where they're sleeping that night. And they've all expressed how nice it feels to not have to worry about what they're gonna eat that day. Basic needs are met. Having a roof over your head, um, being promised that you're gonna have food, having a bed to sleep in, clean clothes. The girls have now bonded. They've bonded with each other and they bonded with Lisa and I. We're, we go shopping and we hang out together. They act like sisters, they argue like sisters, they tease like sisters. Um, it's a good feeling to watch them. I haven't laughed in a long time. And I feel like when I'm here, I tend to laugh a lot. There's much laughter at the Emmy House, and I think that's probably one of my favorite things right now is to hear these girls who've been through so much, but to hear them laugh, it's priceless. <laughs>